हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट Supracondylar fracture of humerus. Supracondylar fracture of humerus occurs whenever there is fall in an outstretched hand, or fall in an hyperextended elbow will result in supracondylar fracture of humerus. So the supracondylar fracture of humerus is the most common cause of fracture on fall in an outstretched hand in children. This is most commonly seen in children less than ten years of age. so it is of two types one we have extension type of injury second we have flexion type of injury so whenever there is extension type of injury that means it is posteriorly displaced in extension type of injury this is posteriorly displaced whereas in flexion so this is extension type of injury where this fragment the distal fragment is posteriorly displaced okay similarly if there is flexion type of injury is also present where the uh, distal fragment is proximally displaced in flexion type of injury so we have extension type of injury and flexion type of injury this extension type of injury is most common which involves around 90% of patients so in this extension type of injury is again of two types one we have posterior medial displacement second we have posterior lateral displacement posterior medial displacement is the most common type of extensor fracture injury so diagnosis of this of uh, supracondylar fracture can be done with the help of x ray x ray through olecranon fossa can be used for the diagnosis the most important or most consistent sign of fracture of supracondylar fracture of humerus is the tenderness whereas the pathognomonic sign of supracondylar fracture is abnormal mobility followed by crepitus so mainly x ray can help us to diagnose but there are some cases where x ray can be missed so if there is x ray is missed if x ray cannot diagnose the supracondylar fracture of humerus then it is called as hidden fracture or occult fracture so in this we can check the x ray and sometimes we can see presence of fat pad sign may be seen in the x ray in some cases and if the supracondylar fracture of humerus cannot be diagnosed by an x ray then the next investigation which can be done is mri mri can be done to diagnose it better mri is better than ct for diagnosis then the supracondylar fracture is actually an orthopedic emergency so here we can do close reduction with internal fixation with k wires can be used in these patients so after 4 to 6 weeks of introduction of k wires these k wires can be removed sometimes injury to the brachial artery can be seen if there is injury to the brachial artery then loss of pulse can be seen in these patients thank you and thank you for watching